How we doing? So I'm having a look at this. The compass itself is fine, so we don't need to worry about that. The solder needs doing on there. Yeah, yeah. Two things that concern me is this hole in the side. Well, what's the concern on that? Because what, um, what would have been there? Well, I've had a little look on the uh, internet and there would be, like, a square lamp holder on there. A lamp holder? Yeah, so that when you were navigating in your lifeboat at night... OK. ..you could see where you were going. So I think I should make the box so it looks like it ha would have a lamp in it. You would need me to buy some brass. I need some brass sheet. It would for be that. brass, wouldn't it? Absolutely brass sheet for that. And also, okay. this is a bit wobbly. Oh, the base is? Yeah. All right. Let's see if we'll sort something out. Absolutely. I'll get it sorted. Cheers, thank you. Okay. The top edge of this has come away, and now I'm going to attempt to re solder this back together. I've got to be really, really careful because if I get it too hot, it's just going to fall apart. It's just going to go boing. Sort of heat it up just hot enough that the solder will melt. Right, you've seen that's gone into the joint now. Just want that to flow down a little bit. There it goes. This is now in position. I now need to get some solder into this part of the joint here, and I'm going to put it on its back for that so that gravity will help me get the solder to go in. So this is a, a tricky little bit. I'm bridging quite a big gap here. I've absolutely amazed myself there. I was just... I didn't think that would work so well. I'm really pleased with that. That's fantastic. So I'm just doing the first stages of polishing on the... Um, brass and as you can see most of the dents have gone but I've left a slight ripple and the odd little mark in it. This is over 100 years old and to make it look like new would, would not be a good thing. Inside, safe from the rain and having completed his work on Steve's clock bracket, Will is tending to the binnacle's wobbly base. There's a piece of cork on the bottom there. That's to protect the base from the surface that it's being put on but also because that ring is quite small in the middle it's actually adding to that sort of rock so i'm going to take it off now with a chisel and instead i might finish this off with um, some green base on the base and hopefully without the cork it's more stable Well, that's definitely reduced that wobble, but also this piece of wood looks really bleached out, really sad. It needs some life put back into it. I'm going to give this a sand now. I'm just going to take off any surface dirt or wax that might be on there. That was lovely and smooth. It's a nice, clean finish, perfect for staining. We'll have a lovely English walnut stain here. Let's see how this takes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is lovely. That's really satisfying to see. I really don't want to show up Brenton's work, but I can already see that this base is going to look absolutely beautiful. <laughs> 